gonna program our Polopod to have echolocation too. It could come in handy. I think they're ready for us to swim with them. All right. Come on, let's go. back, Nash. <laughs> think, Jester, think. How can I find something that's underwater? A dolphin would know. <gasps> and dolphins use echolocation. That's it. I just finished programming the Polopod with echolocation. Perfect. Activate echolocation. Is that it? No, that's a crab. And that's a jellyfish. Hmm, where are you? Hey guys, what's up? Chester took the polypod to rescue Nash's toy that went overboard. Maybe I can try asking the dolphins for help. Okay, so maybe the dolphins don't understand me yet. I'll keep trying. Wait, could it be? Target spotted. Look what I found. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Great work, Chester. Thanks to echolocation. And to the dolphins for the idea. Yay, dolphins! stuff and their navigation swimming underwater using echolocation echo echolocation echo echolocation echo echolocation echo echolocation let's go see if we can find more okay uh oh nash okay got it that doesn't look right huh nash give them a heads up Right! <gasps> Is that Marco? <gasps> right! Ah, uh, Nash! Nash! Let's go this way! <sighs> Phew, that was close! Look, hats! There are a lot of them. Several meerkats can live in one burrow, but the whole group can be as many as 40. Lots of meerkats. Their burrows are connected by underground tunnels. Look. Babies. Right. They all work together to take care of their young and to get food for everyone. You mean 40 breakfasts, 40 lunches, and 40 dinners every day? Yeah. They hunt small rodents, lizards, insects, even poisonous scorpions. But they eat fruit, too. Look, they're all standing with their backs to each other around the burrow. They guard their burrows to protect them from predators. Ooh. To keep their babies safe? I think so. And when something comes around, they give each other the heads up to let all the other meerkats know that something is coming. Coming our way, and I 
gotta get a message to you. Send a signal secretly. Let's do what the meerkats do. Heads up! Heads up! If you're any kind of friend of mine. Yes, no, stop, go. Give a heads up, give me a sign. Yes, no, stop, go. Give a heads up, give me a sign. All clear. Nash is going to be so surprised! It's Marco! They must be heading this way! Quick, hide it! Whatcha doing? Nash, since you like bonga bonging so much... We thought you could use... <gasps> Bongos! Bonga bonga bong! Bonga bonga bong! Bang! Bonga bonga bong! Wow! Did you see how far it turn its head? I wonder if I can do that. Oh, I can! Easy peasy! You turned your whole body around, Gorby. Just move your head. Ugh, okay, I totally can't. How does that sloth do that? Sloths have extra bones in their necks, called vertebrae. That allows them to turn their head almost all the way around. Hey, did you see the tamarind? I think it came back this way. No, but take a look at this. Look, 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 look! A hummingbird? Come on! Take a look at what? <gasps> a sloth! A three-toed sloth. It looks like it's smiling at us. Yeah, it does. Is it really smiling? I think that's just the markings on its face. It's so slow. Plus, sloth. Sleep up to 20 hours a day. They sleep most of the day? And even when they are awake, they barely move. Is it just me, or is its fur kind of greenish? You're right, it is. I wonder why. Maybe the sloth moves so slowly that the green planty stuff can grow on it. <laughs> <laughs> Plants? <laughs> Nothing's that slow. Actually, it says sloths are so slow moving that a tiny organism called algae grows on their fur. Algae are green. Fascinating. So that's why it looks green. What great camouflage. Well, I ran past it three times without seeing it. So it must be hard for predators to see them too. Oh, for sure. Hawks hunt by sight, and so do jaguars. So if sloths kind of blend into the rainforest and barely move, or move really slowly. Things that eat them can't see them. Being so slow helps them survive. Ugh, we've almost seen so many animals. Hey, what are you looking at? It's a three-toed sloth. <gasps> no way, why didn't you tell us? We tried. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah, what an amazing animal. Cool, and we don't even need to run anywhere to see it. Where's it going? Oh, you're not going to believe this. Once a week, they climb down to the ground to go to the bathroom. They only go once a week? Being on the ground is really dangerous for them. They'd rather stay in the trees. Hey, let's have a sloth race. Whoever goes the slowest wins. Ready? Three, two, one. Slow! <laughs> oh. Oh. A super long time like a year? No, like a million years? Look, this fossil is a tooth. Look, in the rock, a leaf. A shell. But that's not all. A fossil can be something that a living creature left behind. It's called a trace fossil. Take a look. That's a footprint from a dinosaur. And not just any dinosaur. <gasps> a Tyrannosaurus Rex. T-Rex for short. Yay! Dino, dino, dino! So let's go find some fossils. Dino! Roar! 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 Whoa! Roar! Roar! Nash makes a pretty good dinosaur. I think he's being a T-Rex. Maybe we should call him a Nashosaurus Rex. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. oh. <laughs>
While all the dinosaurs were pretty cool, my favorite is the T-Rex. I know. Totally. It was 20 feet tall. That's as tall as two elephants on top of each other. Whoa, giant! It had an enormous head, almost as big as a person, with 52 60 teeth. But it had little tiny arms and big legs and a long tail. Scientists think the T-Rex ate other dinosaurs. Rawr! 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 Like this one. Whoa, again! That's a big dinosaur. The T-Rex was one of the most amazing predators ever. Do scientists know all this about the T-Rex from fossils? Mm-hmm. Yep. So let's try to find some. Remember, lots of things can be fossils. So keep your eyes peeled. <laughs>